I love using bland generic stock images for your business, but well, in this video, I will be sharing with you six ways to customize and up-level generic stock images for your business. Hello and welcome back to my channel, the place for discerning content creators and entrepreneurs looking to uplift their brand online. If you're new here, then welcome. Please subscribe and remember that all the links mentioned in this video are in the description below. So let's get to it. I'm sure most of you are already aware of what stock photos are and I can just bet that you've already come across one or two today, either by strolling through your social media or searching Google or any other search engine. So let's just jump into what stock photos are. Well, stock photos are images that anyone can license or buy for creative use. Rather than hiring a photographer or investing in a good camera, you can just search a large database for a picture shot for a particular concept you after. Some examples of stock photo sites are Getty Images, iStock Photos, Dreams Time, Shutterstock, and many more. Though. So just do your research and choose the best one. Some are free, some are paid, and just choose the best option for you. So, what are the benefits of using stock images? Well, there are quite a few benefits of using stock photos. I've just selected the top two for me. Think about the cost that's involved in setting up a proper photo shoot and the photographer fee, the props, the set, everything. You don't need to worry about that if you are going to opt for stock photos because everything has already been done for you. You will be able to get a ready-made image for a fraction of the price that a photo shoot will cost. The second benefit for me is that they are available for instant download so you don't need to wait for a photographer to get back to you a couple of days later. These images are ready to go so you can pay for them and download them and use them right away. So moving on to the downsides, there are quite a few downsides of course but I've condensed the top two for me. Number one, they are not original and if you're looking to be unique, if you're looking to stand out from the crowd, from your competitors, then I wouldn't really advise you using stock photos just the way they are. Think about it, when these pictures were shot, they weren't shot specifically for you, they weren't shot for your brand, they don't know the ethos of your brand, they don't know what you guys are thinking, they don't know the vibe you're trying to give off. So as a business, you will struggle to stand out if you keep using stock images without customizing them for your brand. The second disadvantage I'll say is that they can be bought by just about anybody. As you buying a stock photo, a couple hundred other people are probably buying the same stock photo. This could be very bad, especially if you find similar businesses in your niche or your competitors using the exact same image, you will definitely not stand out. Which then leads us to the question of how do we fix this? So brand and um, stock images, stock images are not original. They can be bought by just about anybody. They can be used by competitors in the same niche. And you don't want to be in a position that you're using the same images that your competitors are using. How do we fix this? I will be showing you six ways to customize stock photos for your business. You can do things like changing the color, repositioning elements on the screen, um, adding the gradients where you can, removing elements, extending the background and adding text to the images. So let me just show you samples of each of these points. First point is to change the color. As you can see, the photo on the left had a yellow background. I then went along into Photoshop to change the background. This is something you can do in your business. You can change the background of the stock image to a color that suits your brand colors or is more aligned, is in alignment with your brand colors. The second point is to reposition elements on the screen. On the left image, you can see that the phone is bang in the middle of the picture. If I wanted to put a text, it would be a bit hard for me to put it in the middle. There isn't really any space to work with apart from the left, but if I wanted like a center aligned text, then it will be a bit It'll be a bit hard and I'll probably not get the look I want. So I went into Photoshop and moved the phone 
to the top a bit, creating space in the middle for me to then add any text I want. The third point is for you to add gradient. So you can add a gradient to your stock image. As you can see on the right image, I've added a soft yellow gradient on top of the image and um, I can write a quote on this, I can write a text, I can write something inspirational on this. The possibilities are endless. Next is to remove elements. So just like we moved around elements, we can also remove elements entirely. On the image on the left, you can see there's a cup of coffee. If this is something that you're not really keen on having in your image, there are ways to remove them. So you can remove the cup and have a clean image that just shows the, the plant and the, and the leaves. The fifth point I want to share with you is to extend the background. If you have a stock photo that the background is a bit small and maybe you want to write something on the right hand side, then you can extend the background so that you have space to work with and it gives it a bit of composition as well. The sixth and final point is for you to add text. So on the left hand side you see a nice beautiful shot of uh, the lake and mountain but you can add text you know something emotive something that relates to the image so text can definitely make your stock photos stand out even more so yeah which of these hacks are you going to try out today drop your answers in the comment section below i hope the tutorial was helpful and if you have any other ideas then please let me know put them down in the section let's help each other and uh, and learn together and grow together if this video was helpful then give it a thumbs up and remember to click on the notification icon so that you can be notified when I post another video before you go why not check out the videos on the screen the first one showing you how to make the most of design mock-ups to showcase your products and designs in the best possible light and the second one showing you how to remove the background of an image see you in the next video